Hi everyone and welcome to the ProBuilder 2.0 Optimizing with NodeDraw tutorial. So if you're looking at this scene right now, which I suppose you are, I mean to say if you just finished up looking at the light mapping tutorial, you probably uh, ended with a scene very similar to this where it was just light mapped, looking pretty nice, generally uh, seeming alright. However, I think as I mentioned at the end of that, there's definitely some things that need to be done in order to make sure that the scene is completely as efficient as it can be, especially in regards to light mapping. So this scene itself, instead of in the uh, at the end of the light mapping tutorial, you might have noticed that it had around 27 separate light maps at 1024 size and took about 15 minutes to render. So in this new scene, with some very simple changes, it's actually only essentially one light map it looks like unity just did a pretty strange job of clumping the uh, uvs together so we ended up with a very small amount here and one big one and this could easily change just by uh, editing some geometry a little bit to fit better so anyway one maybe you'd call it two light maps certainly better than 27 uh, and also the light bake took only 9 minutes 15 seconds definitely gone quite a bit ahead here and then also it is actually better quality, the light map is, than the one that took longer to render and used up more light maps. So let's take a look at how exactly we did this. Uh, oh, and one more thing actually. Now if we look in the game scene, instead of, I believe it was around 50 to 70 draw calls, now we have five. So everything, uh, pretty much everything is completely batching down. Whenever you have Per each material, there's always going to be a draw call per that, and, and even more if you have a, you know normal maps or specularity and such. But essentially, they'll always batch down to one single draw call, uh, as long as it's a separate uh, per material, I'm trying to say. Of course, material gets becomes a separate material, each one does. I hope that makes sense, if there's an extra light map. So the only reason we don't have a simple three draw calls is because we're, we have two different light maps going on so that's where you know if there's a way to try and force your scene into uh, just one single light map it really makes a difference you can cut down on a lot of draw calls that way but two is very good as well so anyway going back to the scene what we've done for the most part is add in the no draw material and this is a special material that hammer users I'm sure will recognize and probably already know what's going on here but for everyone else basically just a material that we can put on any object and it pro builder will basically ignore that that face I'm sorry you put the material on a face pro builder will ignore that face for light mapping and then when you build the game out it will simply delete that face entirely so you save both on the uh, the texture size for the light map you save on draw calls and you also save on simply fewer vertexes uh, vertices being rendered quick note here if you happen to have already light mapped and you select an object you might notice uh, that its light map gets screwed up just click on the build light maps button and it'll fix it up it just happens occasionally so anyway let's look at this object as I pull it up you'll notice that everything inside of here all the faces that are never seen have this no draw material applied to it and the way that you apply no draw is very simple let's create a new box and take a look at this very simple to apply this no draw just open the texture editor select any face or faces that you would like to be no draw and hit U on your keyboard and you can of course set that to any uh, any key that you'd like in the editor preferences. You'll want to take a look at the uh, shortcut customizing tutorial for that for more info on that. So once we set it as no draw, you'll notice it doesn't accept any light, etc. It's just a uh, a face to be ignored as far as ProBuilder is concerned. Um, it will still block light for the light maps. You'll see in this uh, shadow casting here, it's not blocking the dynamic light from the sun, but it does block light in light maps, so you don't have to worry about that. However, the important thing is it does not take up any room in the light map itself. So you just want to set everything, once again, that won't be seen to this no draw material. So I've set everything, including the bottoms of all this, I've pulled apart all the items 
and set no draw everywhere that it simply wouldn't be seen. And the way I ended up doing this actually, uh, a hint that I think a lot of people have found useful in the past, is to simply build everything using no draw as your material for every surface to start with uh, when you're starting your first scene. Uh, and once you've uh, built it up, then you go through and assign the actual materials to all the surfaces that you want it to be on. So this way you make absolutely certain that all of the interior surfaces uh, definitely end up with no draw on them so you aren't missing any places that should be no draw but you forget that they're there. One way to help with this as well, let me just rebuild that, okay. One way to help is using the option under the window Pro Builder actions and then auto no draw and you notice there's a big uh, exclamation point and then beta so this is definitely not uh, fully working yet but it can definitely be helpful uh, it'll run through the entire scene and just apply no draw to all the faces that it finds to be hidden and and that won't ever be seen and it's not entirely perfect yet but it can definitely save you a lot of time so I recommend, of course, first save your scene, maybe even make a copy of that scene and then run it. But for the most part, in fact, I'd say every time I've used it, it's a big help and it'll find a lot of the interior faces and, and they'll draw them for you. One thing you'll notice uh, that under the Viz Groups panel here, which we'll go into in detail in the Viz Group tutorial, but at the very bottom there is the No Draw option. And you can use this to instantly hide all of the faces that have no draw applied to them. So if we look at this here, toggle that off, and they've all disappeared. Toggle it back on to show them. And this is a lot more useful in a level where maybe you have a roof over top, uh, or you're trying to look through walls. In this case, we don't really see it unless I'm looking at, at it from the bottom there, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But it can be very handy for, uh, basically, it's, it's kind of the same as having back face cull on. Um, you know, you, you might remember from, uh, at least that's what I used in 3D Max and such. So that you can see right through the sides of things. So, anyway, that's uh, no draw. Setting up to optimize your scene will make a big difference, especially uh, in terms of just your light maps not taking forever to bake. Uh, and the smaller light map size, many fewer draw calls, uh, all sorts of... Uh, benefits to that. Of course, also a uh, lower uh, vertex count. So thanks for watching, and we'll definitely have more advanced tutorials on optimizing. There's a lot more to go on, off with this, but using NodeDraw is the simplest and probably the most effective uh, optimizing technique that you can use, and you'll definitely want to get used to doing that in every way possible. So make sure you're using that, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the future tutorials.